Today, we are going to be writing the formula for the ionic compound iron 3 carbonate. So, let's work from left to right. The first thing is we got to find out where iron is on the periodic table. And iron is right around here. It's labeled as an Fe. Now, iron is a transition metal, so I'm going to put that there. But since iron is a transition metal, it has multiple different charges. Which one am I going to use in this case? That's why there's a Roman numeral. The Roman numeral always tells you the charge of the metal. So in this case, iron is going to be a plus 3. Now we work on carbonate, and I see that it's an ATE ending. And just know, guys, any ATE endings are always polyatomics. They will never be on the periodic table. So I just wrote down the one that we're going to be using here, which you guys should memorize. Carbonate is always CO3 to minus. Now, since I have both charges for the both components, let's crisscross them to figure out how many of each we need. This three crisscrosses down, telling me that I need three carbonates, and this two crisscrosses down, telling me that I need two irons. When you do the crisscross, the charges, the positive and the negatives, they kind of vanish, so you don't have to worry about them. But now we're just ready to write our compound. We have iron, and it's telling me that I need two of them. And now here's the thing, guys. If you have multiple polyatomics, I need to see parentheses around it. So I'm going to put parentheses, put the polyatomic, so in this case it's CO3, and then say how many you have. I have three carbonates. And now you are done. So iron 3 carbonate is just Fe2CO3-3. Thank you so much for viewing the video. I really hope this helped. Let me know in the comments, all right? Good luck on all your future tests and quizzes. And if you want to help us out, please press the subscribe button. Thank you, and I'll see you in future lessons. Bye-bye.